multimedia elements audio, sound waves. Now, a sound wave is a representation of the vibrations which occur as a result of the presence of audio. It is a measure of amplitude, wavelength, and frequency. So I'm gonna put a sound wave on my screen right now, and it's going for a duration of a second, and also highlight that a sound wave is analog data, as most real world data is. And we obviously talk about this in contrast with digital data, which is what computers understand. So firstly, we'll take a look at amplitude. Now, amplitude is the maximum height of a sound wave, which details the volume of the sound. The higher the wave, the louder a sound is. So that one makes should make straight up sense to you. The next one is wavelength. The wavelength is the length of each individual wave, and it is calculated from measuring the distance of a point of one wave to the exact same point on the next wave. All right, and that distance should be this, the same no matter what point you choose on the wave, okay, in calculation of that actual wavelength. The longer the wavelength period, the lower the wave frequency of sound and the lower the sound's pitch will be. And you might have heard of pitch before when we talk about people with high pitch or low pitch voices. Pitch is how high or deep the audio will actually sound when heard. Then the final factor we'll talk about is that of frequency. And frequency is the amount of waves produced from sound vibrations during a period of time, such as within a second. And I say a second because sound frequency is measured in hertz, which is the amount of times a wave cycle occurs per second. So on the screen here, you can see a wave cycle occurring three times there, which means this would be three hertz because it's being measured over a second. But the thing is, humans can only hear frequencies between 20 and 20,000 hertz. So I could say I'm playing this sound right now. You wouldn't know any better because your ears can't hear less than 20 hertz. So that is frequency, how often the wave cycle occurs per second. So I hope this video has given you a bit of an understanding of sound waves, specifically in relation to amplitude, which relates to the height of a wave and its volume, the wavelength, which is the distance between specific waves, and how they impact on pitch, and then frequency, how many times a wave occurs during a set period, such as a second.